Okay, so freight skip. This is definitely one of the trickier and more RNG heavy frustrating skips in the run, but if you practice it enough, you should be able to get it to where it's not gonna ruin your life every time at least. So we go to Prison of Hope, 3-1, and the first thing that we're gonna do is hang a right and quit out at the end of this hallway. I usually quit out like right when I cross these barrels, like around this column. Um, but it's not super precise. You just want to make sure that you're close enough to that grate that we're going to stick our shoulder in. So basically, it looks like this. Run, run, run. Quit out. And then the next thing we're going to do is try and stick our shoulder into that grate there on the right. Um, it needs to be in your left shoulder, and the placement is pretty precise. So that looked good. Um, if you're too far left or too far right, it won't work. I kind of use my hair to line it up, but basically you want that grate to be like sticking right in your left armpit. And then when you get the boost, quit out immediately and it should put you up in the wall. And then when we're in the wall, we're going to walk in a straight line into that corner and quit out as soon as you hear that barrel sound. Um, so that part's pretty straightforward. Um, some weird stuff can happen where you boost where it, you you load in a little further back and then you have to walk into the corner um, but basically as long as you just like walk into that corner and keep walking then you'll get the boost quit out when you hear the barrel and you're good and if it worked we should be on the roof okay we're in the wall but this is actually good for tutorial purposes so it can like boost you up and down it'll kick you onto the roof eventually what I like to do is put the camera in cinematic mode so that you sink down and then put it back in performance and it'll spit you onto the roof. Uh, I got that strat from Lowell Blanks. And then we got to run in a very straight line between these two things. And then you can just roll down and go through the door down the stairs to get freak. There's also a parkour here that you can do where you uh, basically drop down onto that railing and then roll onto that little ledge. Um, let's see if we can do it. Yeah, we got it. So that's how you do the parkour, and that saves a little bit of time, so that's good to do. And then here's Freak Cell. I already got him in the save file, so he gone. But that's how you do Freak Skip. If you don't want to do the parkour, then you can just leap down straight onto uh, the ledge, open the door, come down these stairs, and then continue on to Freak. Um, it's only about a five, maybe ten second difference. So when you're still getting used to it, I kind of recommend not doing the parkour, unless you want to practice it, because it's not too bad once you get it. All right, and that's Freak Skip.